Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rachel and Rachel, thank you very much for joining me. So it's the end of Christmas week and as you can see, I'm joining you today on a chair. I'm not usually on a chair, I tend to sit on the floor or on my mat on um, these videos. But if, like me, you've been enjoying lounging on the sofa, sitting around the dinner table, enjoying time with family and friends or loved ones, we might have found that we've been sitting in one of these things for a little bit too long over the last few days that have just passed. So I thought I would bring a little chair yoga practice to you guys so we don't have to roll out the mats, we can just have a little bit of movement or find a little bit of movement where we're seated. So just find a comfortable seat, make sure the feet are on the, the floor so we can gently ground ourselves if we're feeling a little bit up here, caught up in the excitement of this time of year. We can sit up nice and tall, so lifting through the belly, the chest, rolling the shoulders away from the back. We might place the hands into the lap with the palms facing up or palms facing down. Just closing the eyes and bringing your awareness to your breath. Allowing the breath to slow and settle. Just checking in with how the breath feels at the start of your practice. When you're ready, gently blinking the eyes open, bringing your awareness back into the room. So make sure that again the feet are on the floor. We might take the feet a little bit further apart, so the feet, the knees are about hip width apart, or a little bit wider. Hands might be resting on the thighs or even onto the knees. We're just going to move into some seated cat curls. So as you inhale, gently pull the body forward, lift the chin. As you exhale, gently pull the body back, tuck the chin to chest, rounding the spine. Inhale, pull the body forward, lift the chin. Exhale, draw the body back, tuck in the chin to chest. And depending on how close you are to the back of the chair, you might find that you want to wiggle forward if you want a little bit more movement in that rounding of the spine. Inhale, pull the body forward, lift the chin. Exhale, rounding the spine, tuck in chin to chest. A few more with your breath. Inhale, drawing forward, lift the chin. Exhale, drawing back, tuck in the chin to chest, rounding the spine. Which is a nice way to release the back, especially if the shoulders or the lower back feel quite tight and it's not very easy to roll out the mat and get onto your mat to do these as we normally would in tabletop. Last one, inhale, pull the body forward, lift the chin. Exhale, rounding the spine as you tuck the chin to the chest and finding your way back to neutral. So from here we're going to reach our right arm forward, bend into the elbow, draw the arm across, the so thumbs in front of the nose. Take your left arm under, bending the elbows and drawing the hands towards each other, moving into eagle arms or garandasana arms. So you might find that you're here doing a funny karate chop. Maybe the hands sit back to back. Maybe you can draw the left hand closer to the chin to bring the hand round to find the right palm. Keeping the right fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling. We might stay here if the shoulders feel tight or maybe you can reach the arms up. Lifting the chin, focusing the breath.
hands so we can lower the arms a bit lifted unraveling the arms keep the shoulders a little shrunk and change your side so reaching the left arm forward bend into the elbow draw the arm across thumb in front of the nose taking the right arm under this time drawing the arms together so we might be pausing here maybe the back of the right hand can find the back of the left hand or maybe we draw the right hand closer and then taking the hand around maybe the right fingertips can find the left palm if it feels comfortable in the shoulders to go a little bit deeper into the stretch we can extend the arms up gently lifting the chin and focusing on the breath down if they were lifted release the arms give the shoulders a little shrug so depending on if you're sitting on like a dining chair or like I am or maybe you're sitting on a chair in the living room or a sofa chairs so you actually have arms then you might sort of have your hands or your forearms on the arms of the chair otherwise you might hold on to the side of the chair or even turn around to the side so you can place your forearm onto the back of the chair and just moving into a side stretch so whichever side that you're leaning the arm or the hands onto the back or of the chair or the arm of the, the chair or the sofa that you're in or holding onto the side of the chair, we're going to reach the opposite arm up and then we're starting to stretch over to the other side. Just check that you're not pushing the shoulder up into the ear so we're not here pushing up, just gently reaching that arm over to the same side as the arm or the back of the chair we're on. slowly lifting back up so again we might just be holding on to the side of the chair and changing sides from here or we might have to turn around to the other side so we can now have the other arm to the back of the chair so we can rest the forearm we might be resting the other arm now onto the other arm of the chair on the sofa reaching that arm up and just gently stretching over to the side i'm just going to turn my chair around so you can see so making sure that we're not pushing the shoulder up to the ear, just keeping that arm relaxed that's resting on the arm and reaching the opposite arm up and over, inviting that side stretch from the hip through the side waist. Really nice one to do if we've been doing a lot of sitting, especially if we feel like we're collapsing into the hip. sitting so from here we're going to go into a little twist so we've got our back to the chair we're going to take our left hand behind and just starting to look over the left shoulder and you might leave your right hand on the right leg or take it to the left leg just gently looking over the left shoulder same with our side stretch make sure you're not pushing the shoulder up towards the ear so just keeping that arm relaxed you might hold on to the back of the chair for a bit of support Slowly releasing, facing forward and changing sides. So taking the right arm behind you, so you might be holding on to the back of the chair or back of the sofa. Left hand might stay on the left leg, where you might find the right knee, just make sure you're not pushing onto the kneecap. And just gently turning around, looking over the right shoulder. Keeping the shoulders relaxed and not pushing them up towards the ears. And focusing on the breath.
background to the center. So from here, we're gonna have a go with seated pigeon pose. So we're gonna lift the right foot off of the floor and we're gonna place the right foot and the right ankle just to hop it off the side of the left leg. Just gently opening the right hip as we let that right knee drop to the side. We might stay here, we might wiggle the left foot forward a bit to move into a little forward fold, biting a stretch into the lower back. Again, focusing on the breath. When you're ready, slowly coming back up to sitting, releasing the right foot back down onto the floor, lifting the left foot up and taking the left foot, the left ankle just to the outer edge of the right thigh so you're not pushing the ankle onto the top of the leg, gently opening that left hip as we let the left knee drop to the side. We can stay here nice and upright or if you want to invite a bit more of a stretch into the lower back, just gently leaning forward and we can just rest the forearms onto the left leg. Just make sure you're not putting too much weight into the legs, so you're not leaning and pushing the weight into the right leg and focusing on the breath. Slowly coming back up and releasing the left foot down onto the floor, keeping the feet, the knees hip width apart and placing the hands back down onto the knees or the thighs or into the lap. Again, palms might be facing down or facing up, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, closing the eyes and coming back to your breath. Checking in with how the breath feels now and compare it to how it felt when you first started your practice. You might stay here for a few more moments. And then back into the room whenever you're ready. Just wiggling the fingers, the toes. Blinking the eyes open, bringing your awareness back into the room. And thank you very much for joining me for this seated yoga practice. Thank you very much and namaste.